news for the Bruins is having 2000 Olympian Kristen Maloney back in the lineup on all four events. So the big question for Gina Rice. UCLA's Kristen Maloney, and Amanda, I think you'll agree with me, it's strange to see Kristen in a leotard simply because for the last two years, she's been out with a stress fracture. She's had four surgeries on her shins, but finally, Kristen Maloney is back. Almost everyone didn't think I'd be back at all. My coaches included, like, everyone, my family, doctors, my coaches, my friends, like, everyone didn't think I'd come back. So being able to come back, um, it's just the greatest feeling ever. It just makes me appreciate gymnastics a whole lot more. And when you think about what Kristen's had to overcome, her father was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma back in 2002. So all of these emotions that Kristen had to cope with. Watch this first tumbling pass. Beautiful double layout. Very nice. She's not only amazing just at being back here in this sport, but she tumbles like she's never left it. You think she's at full strength? You know, as a viewer, she definitely looks like it. I don't see how you wouldn't think that. In fact, Val feels like she's even stronger now. Second tumbling pass, whip, immediate double pike. Beautiful landing. Val called Kristen the most mentally tough athlete she's ever worked with. And really what impressed her was that for the two years while Kristen was hurt, she still would do bars and conditioning every single day with no guarantees at all that she'd ever be cleared to do gymnastics again. Well, and I can relate to that situation, although I never had a two-year break. Sometimes injury time is the best time to get physically strong, but more importantly, mentally tough. by the way, on floor while Stanford's Natalie Foley was up on beam as Maloney prepares for her final tumbling pass. Very nice two and a half twist. She had clean landings on all three landings. Nice job. Kristen is senior, but she'll have an extra year of redshirt eligibility, so she will be back as a Bruin next year. Father Richard, good news for him. His cancer is in remission. And good news for UCLA is Maloney posts a 9-9-2-5. Her team's up and two major mistakes for Utah. No mistakes to be found for UCLA. Kristen Maloney, part of the nation's top vaulting team. Performing that Yurchenko full, very easy for Kristen. Nice landing. She can actually do a double twisting your chain, but that's very difficult. Kristen earned the very first perfect 10 of her career on this event in regionals. It'll be a 995 for her in this event, continuing the Bruins steamrolling of these now. It ruled the gymnastics scene for so long. After a two-year injury hiatus, Kristen Maloney has been so much a part of UCLA's success this year. Here she is on bars. Watch this first move. It's actually a toe on Shaposhnikova, named after her. It's called the Maloney. Beautiful. Right up to a clear hip to handstand. In her first meet back this year, Kristen scored a career high on bars, a 9.975. Full twisting double back. Beautiful landing. UCLA coming off their bye rotation, and, and sometimes the gymnast might be a little bit of cold, sitting around a little bit. But with that 9-9-2-5, it looks like the Bruins continue to try to make that gap a little bit bigger between them and Georgia. The championships, UCLA's Kristen Maloney competed for Team USA in 2000. For UCLA, what a triumphant moment this could be for Kristen Maloney. After missing two full years with a shin injury, a 9.85 will not only give UCLA the championship, but help the Bruins break that highly coveted team championship record.
sections yet. Stick this to mouth. Beautiful. And somehow I bet Christian's parents think their daughter just hit UCLA's magic number. Well, and I'm going to have to agree, that routine was flawless. The judges have to give it a 9-9 or above. Done deal.